you're standing there. Oh, it's distracting. I'm behind you. It's distracting. You're making a distraction right now. Please no invisible. Okay. I'm pretty sure 143 is over. Yeah, 143 is over. Or 142. One one forty two is over, but this can still be a good time. Please don't screw up controller. Okay, it's working. That got it. Yes. Okay. One more. Alright, what time is this? That's a... That's a low 143. Darn it, dude. I, I ran into the wall. After, uh, why there? That's like the worst spot. Why there? That's so depressing. Yeah, that's, that's a good time. That... 50 seconds ahead going into Bowser in the sky, though. I ran into the wall and it eliminated all of my speed, so recovering from that was impossible. As soon as I jumped off with all my speed gone, I was dead. That, that is a really unfortunate spot to die at. Now I have to grind this category longer. Dude, my, my gameplay after upstairs was incredible. Like, my upstairs, it, it's a good upstairs. Like, well, the wet dry rolled split, that's not good. But the splits after that were all like, okay, um, Tiny Huge Island, that was like three seconds off of best splits. Tall Tall Mountain, like one second. Snowman's Land was like two or three seconds, but Tiny Huge Island and Snowman's Land both have like kind of RNG heavy 100 coins. Alright, so these splits, oh man. Let's see, my awful beginning. Um I, I had a I had a horrible beginning and I had a death in Bowser in the Sky and just like some movement errors in Bowser in the Sky. That made me lose 30 seconds, so Basically, the beginning splits and Bowser in the Sky are the big time savers. And like everything else is just good. I'm gonna go AFK for a few minutes so I have to pee again, but. Since it's not 142, I'll, I'll do some more runs, and I have a crap load of viewers, so might as well be back in a few.